Florida State University has been the home of stellar athletes over the years, especially in football. People like Heisman Trophy winner Charlie Ward, winner of both the NFL Rookie of the Year and the Heisman the previous year, Jameis Winston, standout Minnesota Vikings running back Dalvin Cook. The most notable football player to suit up for the Seminoles is Deion Sanders, entering both the College and Pro Football Hall of Fames in 2011 He is still the standard by which most defensive backs are judged. In 2020, he got his first college head coaching job at Jackson State University. He said he wanted to create a pathway to the NFL and show that with the same resources, they can do as well as any other school. Jackson State University won the SWAC in his second season, but it's the off season where he's making waves pulling Travis Hunter, who committed to Coach Prime's alma mater from Florida State to Mississippi. And now he snags St. Louis's own. Yeah, I got to talk about St. Louis because that's where I am. But anyway, he pulls St. Louis's own Kevin Coleman, the number one wide receiver in the state and number six in the nation. Coleman surprised everyone as he announced his final three schools as Oregon, Miami and Florida State. Coach Prime didn't have a clue that Coleman was considering coming to the Tigers. I know this had to make the Seminole staff feel some kind of way. When Hunter came, he said he wanted to be a part of history, start a trend, and he's doing just that. Now he and Coleman will not only sharpen each other's skills and practice, but have a chance to brighten the burgeoning spotlight on HBCUs. While blazing a trail, they're leaving FBS schools, especially Florida State, feeling kind of salty. Jesus calls his disciples, his followers, the salt of the earth. What does salt do? Well, it seasons, making food more desirable. It makes people thirsty. Salt licks are blocks of salt placed in fields to ensure that cattle will drink water. It also adds shelf life. People have salted meat for years and it's still used as a preservative to this day. Salt has value. Our word salary comes from the Latin word for salt. It was used for currency in the Mayan world as well as for Roman soldiers. Hunter, Coleman, and Sanders are salting the HBCU landscape, making athletes and fans alike thirsty for these schools and coverage of their athletic programs, helping to season college football with the unique experience of HBCU games. They're preserving the history of these institutions where many African-American thought leaders matriculated. They're also showing a new generation the value these schools hold, especially for students of color. Disciples, followers of Christ, are charged to salt more than just the league or an industry, but the world. Christians' lives are to make the word and the things of God more desirable. How we face challenges should make others want to know our God, one who causes a former firecracker to be calm under pressure. They should see the power of God radically changing the lives of those who believe in him. The world needs to hear the testimonies of how our prayers have saved natural lives from accidents and terminal illness. How praying parents have seen the most troubled children change and thus preserved. Our victories and how we treat others should reflect the value that every person has in the sight of God. That's what God is calling his children to be. Don't try to be like the world. It's enough people in that lane. Doing that causes you, children of God, believers of Christ, to lose your saltiness and thus lose your value. If salt is exposed to rain or mingles with vegetables, it loses its savor. Likewise, when Christians become a part of this world, they stop being salty and they become a cautionary tale. Salt was used like gravel in the ancient Middle East. 
The priests would also use salt that lost its savor to add traction to temple steps when they became wet. Likewise, if a believer were to lose their savor, one could look to how this happened and hold on to God's promises so they don't fall when things get slippery. So here's the play, be salty, show your value and the benefits of loving God by causing others to thirst after him. Bring a different, much needed flavor to the world, which will preserve lives. It's your man, The Voice, with this week's Time Out. All right, time to get back in the game of life. Until next week, ready, break.